today's video we have three simple fights in war i say simple in war number nine versus g-o-w the gods of war i think it is and first up got this iron man infinity war on rage just gonna throw on a quick health boost uh for torch just to make sure i don't trigger his rage i'm a rank three but he's also a rank three so he's got plenty of health so I shouldn't be triggering it too much. Uh, just go with flame on and it's going to pretty much melt him. Uh, of course, all of his attacks being energy are going to feed my Nova flames and all that good stuff. Keep me charged up. So all I gotta do here is just make sure that basically I don't get hit by a special one. Uh, that would be probably the worst thing that could happen. Cause his shock is, uh, is definitely significant. But as you can see here, it's going good. Uh, got five of my smolders already, six on him. And every time he launches a special, a little bit of that power sting damage kind of makes this fight go nice and quick. And once he gets down below, uh, what is it, 18% uh, or whenever he triggers his armor ups, then it's just heavies only. But he'll have so much, uh, so many debuffs on him as far as the, the flames go that he'll just be melting right away. So don't need to use a special three. I noticed there that I think I did trigger rage one time on a heavy, but here at the end, I mean, yeah, it's just no contest. Fight over, nice and easy. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and boost fully because we're gonna be taking a mini boss and then a thing rank three main boss with void so i'll throw on our big boy boost here and i've been using the medium boost with some good success but i just i don't know something about today's war uh we were uh, ahead at this point but i wanted to make sure that well i don't die so sasquatch here on the regeneration mini he goes unblockable however his regeneration is passive so it just doesn't even really matter straightforward uh sasquatch fight i can parry him it's, uh, <laughs> it's it's really no big deal. Of course, every time he hits me, he's building or into my block or I parry. I'm building the smolders. So I will take all kinds of hit on block. No problem. I do want to bait a special two here, of course. And then launch my special two. So let's go, big guy. Yeah, he's indestructible. Get a parry. Perfect. Okay, he's got the Wrath, but that's okay. Just means this won't stun him. So I'm prepared for that. Keep building my Smolders. Oh yeah, this fight, well under control. And if he does try to proc a regeneration, uh, tor Torch's Flames will just reverse it, and he'll be dead. So get my one hit, get the Indestructible off, parries again. No problem. I went to punish this, and I thought, whoa, bro. what are you doing, son? <laughs> don't, don't try to punish this special one. This fight's well under control. Couple of hits here at the end. Oh, yeah. 4%, 3%. Get this uh, indestructible off him. No problem. Sasquatch down. So wait for some of these other minis to be cleared right quick. And then we'll be ready to take on this boss. So they all soloed their fights. It was really good clear on all the mini bosses. And I've got three pre-fights. 15% uh, attack rating from White Mags, the Petrification, and Suppression Field from Mr. Fantastic. So, and I, even today's war, I was able to bring Omega. And, you know, I was able to bring him, which gives him 10% increased uh, debuff damage. But I still went with the bigger boost, even though some of the other matchups I hadn't been using the biggest boost. And I didn't have the Omega Synergy, but like I said, something about it, I was just kind of like, uh, you know, maybe it was my last war where I had 4% health and had to take him down from 55% that made me think, you know, hey, let's just, let's just not die. So I'm getting backed up a little bit more here than I'm, I mean, I'm not necessarily uncomfortable with it, uh, but then I'm used to, so... We're going to push him up. Uh, things are looking good. I can do my three hit into special one here. Get him over a bar. I've only got one of my indestructible charges. 
uh, in terms of like being able to dex him. So I do want to get some more parries off eventually. But right now, name of the game is uh, screen spacing, right? So I just want to keep him pushed over to his side of the map. And life will be good. Okay, we'll go ahead and block since we're at 10. Perfect. Push him over a bar. All right, so fear of the voids up. Ah, and once again, maybe this is why I wanted to use my big boost. Thankfully, I didn't get crit, but I was not pleased with myself for just eating that to the face. And I know I've got, you know, some health to deal with in terms of the block damage, but I just did not like that. Got off a clean intercept there, right, th right there though. Allowed me to save some uh, HP. Made another special. Um, got two of the charges left, so I can still uh, do some dexing. We'll build up a couple more here. Nice little intercept. Counting in my head. Up to 15 again. Perfect. So 25% health. 47 him. A little bit better shape than last war, but still not, not super comfortable. I've had some solos where I was over 60-70% at the end. And uh, went, things went a lot better. So I'm, I'm just trying to stay focused. Do my thing here. And get him down. He's at 15. Let's bait the special. Same as always. Control the screen spacing. And that was another thing. Right when I got to this point, I was like, man, you know, he's going to start hitting hard. He's got his 60 Furies already built up. I don't want to take too, much, too many hits on block. So whenever he hits into me, I'm hoping that, you know, if I do a parry, re-parry or something, that it will, uh, that he'll throw his heavy very quickly. Kind of like he did there. I was like, perfect. All right. So now... Now I know with all my debuffs up, I can kind of just wait out the clock for the most part. So I'm going to start slow playing just a little bit. I slowed my combo down here and I'm like, oh my gosh, stop hitting into my block, dude. Took me down to 8%. And this is where we're going to close the fight out. So, whew, close one. I really didn't feel that comfortable finishing the fight with 8% health. But a win's a win, full attack bonus achieved. Uh, they played really well. We did come out with the victory in this one. So nine down, three to go. And hopefully uh, over the next two, we secure Masters and end the season on a high note. So until next time, we'll see you on the battlefield. Take care.